Okay, welcome to Splatoon, episode 4. Today we are going to do the last three levels, hopefully, of this particular island. So let's just move on to level 8. So we can go on and go ahead and get started. I believe that right there is level 8. So let's see. Nope, that's level 9. We want level 8. So, okay, that is level 8. Ah, great. So this right here, basically these are like CPU versions of Inklings. And basically what you want to do if you don't want to find the sunken scroll, you want to follow the octoling path. I mean, the salmon egg path. But, I want to find it. And these guys are pretty easy to get rid of as long as you know what you're doing. This is one of my least favorite soundtracks of the game. Or, least favorite songs in the soundtrack, I guess I should say. Okay, where did they land? Okay, that's where. Okay, we got a piece of armor. You want a piece of me, bub? Alright, I believe coming up here is the sunken... Nope. Come on. Where is it? I know it's somewhere. I just don't know where. It's not there. Because that's where we just were. So it has to be somewhere up here. Alright. These inkling these octolings will forever do a respawning cycle of their own, so you're not gonna be rid of them. I mean, killing them multiple, multiple times over and over and again could be a good way of farming salmon eggs since there's no salmon run in this game. But, otherwise, there's no real good way of farming eggs unless you're actually going to play levels over and over again. Which I don't know why you would want to waste your time doing so. Come on, where is it? There it is. Found ya. Couldn't stay hidden from me forever. Sounds like something a serial killer would say. Jeez Louise. I thought... I thought I was morbid. Which I apparently am. Alright, we got our sunken scroll and our... Whatchamacallit. Also, you do get a fish egg bonus. If you... Get, if you... Keep your special weapon without using it. Okay, so that's like a weird thing. Painting thing, I don't know. Don't look too far into it. Pro no! I'll be right back. Jeez Louise. Okay, now we're back in Octo Valley. And we're going to go to the next level. And then hopefully we have enough time for the boss level of this area. Oh yeah, so this level is basically... Oh, so the uh, these are like mini boss things. And there's going to be one in every world from now on. So, basically how to get through these levels. They deploy ink strikes throughout the level. So you basically just want to stay in your ink as long as you can. And that'll help you avoid getting hit by them. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Got some armor right here. I'm mostly fine, though. I've always been okay at these levels. Okay being the keyword. I think you're safe if you're under trees too, but I don't know for sure. But basically, this is just they're just using the tutorial level for this. I think there's one more time you revisit this level too. At least. It might be the amiibo challenges though. So I don't know for sure. Okay, I just gotta find the sunken scroll. There it is. Alright, let's go. Come on. Oh, shoot. And ink, string, ink strikes are pretty much a f first hit kill. Oh, also, enemy ink does not destroy boxes. If it's an ink strike, anyway. So, you're still able to get salmon eggs. If you don't destroy a box. If the enemies destroy a box by normal means, though, you're not getting those salmon eggs. I'm sorry to tell you that, but you're not. Oh, they added squeegees. That's great. Alright, let's just go. So up here, the way these boss levels work, basically just gotta take them out. These are easier to avoid, though, however. Got him already. See? These are easy, quote-unquote, mini-bosses. They take almost no time at all. They're normally in small maps. So it's basically nothing to do them. But we already got it done. So let's go ahead and get on to the boss level. The boss kettle will not open until you've beat all levels in the island. So that's something you could keep in mind too. I think we have enough time for the boss level. We've only gotten eight some minutes so far. Oh, it's this one. This one's easy-ish. So there's not much to worry about with this one. The biggest thing is that you just gotta be careful not to jump in that pit. When it's like pools of, um... When they're like pools of... Whatever you want to call it like that. When they're pools of octopus ink like that, you cannot destroy them. I mean, you cannot put your ink in them. So this guy basically, you just gotta destroy his tentacles. And then climb up him, and then destroy his bigger tentacles. Or tentacle. He adds a level to himself every time, though. So that's something you might want to remember. And eventually he starts splitting them off, the balls off into groups of... Five like that. See what I mean? So, this is probably one of the easier bosses. Probably easier than the first boss, if I'm going to be honest. So, not much to worry about with him. Other than the fact that he does get rid of your ink. And he adds more belly buttons each time. And when his nose swells up like that, that means he's making a bigger one. If you shoot one of his belly buttons before he does that, though, 
he will not make it in time. However, he can recover his belly button tentacles. So that's something you want to keep in mind. And he blasts you back after you destroy all of the tentacles. So that's something you might want to remember. But I've already beat him. So that's that. Kabloom. Kaboom, I guess. Whatever. Let's go ahead and go over here. Alright. Got our second scroll. And we got our zapfish. Kaboom. I can actually probably do... Nope. Scritchy scratch. What's that sound? Cuddlefish. Blasted radio must be broken. You're doing great, Agent 3. Don't let up. That's a bit of foreshadowing. That's what we call a little bit of a sneak peek. And we now have access to the next Octo Valley Island. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.